I am back from Europe, and I'm gonna play Blitz. I haven't played much Blitz while online in over a month. Well, let's do it. Let's see if I still know how to move the pieces. All right, we're playing a guy who's pretty high rated. I got. I'm gonna warn you guys. I'm turning down the sound on my boards, but. Somehow it always continues to come out loudly on, um, on the video. It's hard to explain. I forget what to do here. Is it E5? I'll do it. I really don't remember what, what, what to do here, though. Or looks normal, but it also it's E6. That's what it is. And then I think, I think they go back to F6. And then, yeah, I decide this position's okay for me. If I'm not mistaken, it's also okay for black. King on F7 is not so weak. I had some plan here. I can't remember what it was, but the position's obviously playable for me. So nothing to complain about yet. Just develop my pieces. Queen on D2. He's castling by hand, and he has a solid enough position. So see if Queen D2 now ninety oh no ninety four is protected by a lot of things. So I'm just gonna like play really normal, like just double on the E file. See what happens. He should develop his bishop somewhere. Um, G4 is a little shaky, but I guess he can do it. Then I'll go H3, and then if he moves bishop H5, his E6 square is a little tender. So something like B4 and Knight E6. Hmm, any threat? Any idea? I don't know. I think just rookie 2. Oh, I'm sorry, he's attacking my pawn. Uh, rookie 2, boom, 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 boom. I might go knight b3, even though it's kind of pathetic. That's somehow surprising. Like, what about bishop e3? Oh, then you can still... go um... and develop the rook to e2? I mean, it allows bishop g4 somewhere. I just don't think I care that much. Alright, I'm just gonna do this. Probably equal enough for him. Pieces are all fine. King's not weak on f7. I could take with the rook because otherwise rook e8. I mean, I don't know, man. H3. Take it. Uh, now what? Bishop e3 next move. Followed by like knight e4. I'm, I'm gonna go bishop e3 next move. Oh, I'm gonna do it anyway. He's gonna go queen a6. It's like a little clunky. Oh, I can do that. I thought knight a4, but takes. Uh, a4 now doesn't really do very much, does it? Ah, it's not bad actually. Because queen e3 check next move. Oh, he can go queen e7. Then. Whatever. I think queen d4, I guess. No, I'm gonna do this to get space for my king. e3. Whatever. Uh, I guess queen d4. Just, just trade with queen e4. I don't think, I mean, probably even slightly worse here. Look at my knight, can really move. Well, so if b5, I can go knight c5. If b6, I don't know, maybe f3, and then b3 or something ridiculous. No, I'm really having trouble actually after b6. The two about my knight. Um, am I losing? Well, hopefully not. I don't know if that was correct, because it, it's a waste of some of his options. I should now just ignore him, I guess. I like the king on d4. The problem is I run out of moves. I don't know. I'm going to go f4 and hope it's okay. I should have thought more, though.
I'm gonna go back actually. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta be a little careful. I'm trying to think the right setup, like pawn to an f4 and g4 maybe. I can like g4 and f4 next move maybe. If he goes f4, I can go. I meant g4. If he can go, if, I mean if he goes g5, of course. So let's see what's his plan. If I just go king d4 to e3. King d4. If he goes g4 and five, he goes h5 and h4. Then I have a problem. Sort of. I don't know. I'm just gonna do this. Worried about h5, h4. I guess go back and forth in e3 and f3. I don't think he can create any kind of like pass pawn over here. I have to watch out for a4, d4, followed by b4. It's like the main concern to make sure that doesn't that breakthrough doesn't work. When he goes a4, I always have to watch out for d4. Take b4, d5, three. I mean, probably I make a. I don't make a queen. So I have to be careful for sure once he puts his pawn in a4. And the problem is once he goes h5 to h4, I can just sit. I can just sit. Yeah, okay. Oh, then he has g4, but I can then take it with check. A little complicated, all this stuff. He's trying to figure out how to break through. Can he go d4 immediately? Possible. Okay, d4 take. B4, King E3, A4, King D3. A. I don't know, it's scary. Maybe I shouldn't have gone King F3. Gives him this one chance. He's calculating it now. Okay, I'm gonna go back. He wants to go D4 at the right moment. I think I just have to sit. If he ever goes G4, I go H4. If he goes H5. King, King d4, h4, and I sit. Not mistaken. Or King e3, e5, King d3, and then g4. I have to be. Well, doesn't this lead to a draw? I don't think it matters what I do with my king. I just have to worry about this d4 move still. If it wins, it wins. What am I going to do? Um, Alright, let's see. Does it work? I mean, king c3, king e4. But, oh. Very strong. Uh, f3? Pawn takes g4. F3, pawn takes g4, pawn takes h5. King, king, king. Oh, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I feel like otherwise we're just gonna lose. Just go. <laughs> just, uh, maybe I should calculate that a little more. Does that really work? And a queen with check is the idea. Oh boy. I lose. That was an interesting end game though. I, I gotta give him props. I mean I should resign. Unfortunate. Uh, I had a bad feeling about the end game the whole time. I mean, he could work. Take this well. Uh, F two is a good idea. Like this was a good idea because of, of the, what he did. G five doesn't help me. I'm pretty sure, but just in case, it's the same thing. My queens. This isn't Dvorsky's in-game manual, this technique. Yeah, I'm just losing. Hmm. 
If I go king c3, I'm sorry my face is, I got I just the camera. Uh, he goes king e4, and I don't know, it doesn't look good. Kind of running out of moves to play. On a stupid computer. Basically losing. Losing here. G4 is a very good move. I had to go F3. F H4. Take, take, F4. Okay, I mean, I feel like I shouldn't actually be losing. A knight on A4 is really clumsy, too. This was just badly played. Um, I, I didn't realize how dangerous it is to have this knight here. I just... Big mistake. This C3, I mean, I'm just losing the knight, actually. So we all played some stupid moves. But... I mean, position is fine. I thought it was basically fine, and I just played really badly. E3 and rook AB1 it prefers. Yeah, you know, trading all the stuff off when his king's like slightly in the center. It's maybe not ideal. So bad about b3. Defense, knight in the center. Do I would play it probably. Knight e4. I'm just curious what's happening here. I mean, this would never happen in the game, even though it's good for him. He wouldn't play this way. I mean, it says it's okay for me too. Look at this crazy ass stuff. Whatever, I lose. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.